It's June 11th at 6pm BST, and the Xbox Showcase is on. They've already announced some interesting things, such as the new Fable game with Richard Iowardi, but then all of a sudden, the Blizzard logo appears. Followed by one of the best trailers they've ever released, Overwatch Invasion. This came out of nowhere, no one was expecting this trailer, but it showed us a lot to look forward to in the upcoming seasons, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the entire trailer, bit by bit. First things first, STORY MISSIONS BABY WOO! This is looking a lot like a stripped back version of the initial PvE they announced back in 2019, and that's because it's exactly what this is. Remember, PvE wasn't cancelled, it was just reworked into this, which, after seeing, a lot of people are completely fine with this, including myself. On the Xbox blog, they've said that the story missions are gonna launch with three missions in Season 6, but these missions look pretty damn big, like a similar size to the Archives missions we've had years prior, maybe possibly even bigger. Speaking of bigger, the new Omnic units look menacing, especially the big red rhino looking one, so are we gonna be getting bosses in each of these missions? If so, that's sick, I, ca I can't wait for that. Overall, these story missions are looking very promising, and I've got myself and a lot of other people very excited. Second of all, we got a look into Flashpoint, which, if you watched my The Future of Overwatch 2 video where I said that I think it's gonna be like Cold Hardpoint, I was right. That means you owe me a like and subscribe. I'm only joking, but if you're enjoying this video, show it some love and maybe check out the rest of my videos, it'd be much appreciated. Anywho. Flashpoint is best described as 3CP meets Hardpoint. Teams will fight to capture zones that spawn around the map, and the first to three captures wins. This mode is going to be insane, I can already see the super long and intense team fights now, and the mode isn't even out for another season. These new maps look absolutely massive too. I'm sure they'll be full of lots of little secret paths to get around to the different points faster, making the mode a lot more intense. Third of all, we're getting Hero Mastery, which is like a training ground for different specific heroes which teach you more about their abilities and how to use them, which is really good. Especially with this new wave of free-to-play players coming into the game and not really knowing where to start or how to play at all. It gives them the opportunity to experiment with different heroes and find one that fits their playstyle. This is going to be beneficial to veteran players too, as the roster of heroes keeps expanding constantly, so we can go in here and learn these new heroes too. Fourth things fourth, that isn't a thing, but I don't care, we're making it a thing. A new co-op event which looks to be partial PvE like Star Watch was, where we're helping the push bot do something. We don't really know much more than this at the minute, all we know is damn, I love it. when did he get down? What the fuck? Next, firing range. Last but certainly not least is the new hero, which we don't really know much about other than the fact that they're a support hero. Looking at them very closely, they have similar cybernetics to Sojourn, so this might be a similar case to Farah and Anna and Tobin Brig, but they have some form of relationship, whether that be relatives or something different is something we'll find out on August 10th I suppose. Looking at their weapon, it doesn't look like a gun, it looks more like a sword. I'm getting a very kind of Xenoblade vibe from it, it looks very interesting. Obviously we have a melee support in Brig, but if this is another melee support, it could mean that a lot is going to change in the team comp meta. This is if they're good. They could come out and be a huge disappointment like Life Weaver was. That just about does it for this new trailer and in turn this video. Overall, Invasion looks absolutely amazing, and Blizzard have really saved their asses by putting this out. A lot of people were scared for the future of Overwatch 2, myself included, because the initial roadmap they released was very vague, even though it told us near enough everything that this trailer told us. But after seeing this trailer go more into depth and expand on what they said in the roadmap all those weeks ago, I can confirm that we are so back.